this video, I'm going to be explaining the exponent rules for zero exponents and for negative exponents. So I'd like to start by exploring the pattern with these given exponents. So let's go ahead and multiply out 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power is going to be 16. As we, move, as we take 1 away from the exponent, let's notice what happens to the product. 2 to the 3rd power is 8. So to go from 16 to 8, if I take 16 and I divide by 2, basically I'm taking away a factor of 2. I'm going to get 8. All right? 2 squared is 4. If I take 8, divide by 2, which means I'm taking away a factor of 2. To make it 2 squared, I get 4. All right, let's continue. 2 to the first power is 2. Again, we're going to continue dividing by, dividing by 2 as we remove an exponent. Okay, so 4 divided by 2 would give us 2. All right, now progressively my exponents are decreasing by 1, right? So the next exponent should be 0, which seems odd. And a lot of people want 2 to the 0 power to equal 0, but we're going to continue this pattern of dividing by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So no matter what that base value is, anything to the 0 power is going to equal 1. Let's continue. That's our rule for 0, okay? We're going to continue by continuing to take away 1 from the exponent. So 0 minus 1 would give us negative 1. We're still going to divide by 2. 1 divided by 2 is just 1 half. Notice that exponent has moved to the denominator and has changed signs. Okay, we're going to continue. We're going to take another 1 away from the exponent and we're going to have a negative 2. So I'm taking 1 half and I'm dividing by 2. Well, that is the same thing as 1 half times 1 half, right? Because we multiply by the reciprocal when we divide fractions. That's going to give us 1 over 2 squared, or 1 fourth. 1 over 2 squared. So I want us to notice that pattern. What's happening now is the denominator is growing. So negative exponents are actually repeated division. So the rule for zero is that any number or any variable raised to the zero power is going to be equal to one. The rule for negative exponents is that you are going to move the factor with the negative exponent to the opposite side of the fraction bar and change the sign on the exponent to positive. All right, let's try some of these examples. Four to the negative two. Okay, we are gonna move that four down to the denominator and make the exponent positive. And that's going to give us 1 over 16. 4x to the negative 3. All right, the only thing that has the negative exponent on it is x. x is going to move to the other side of the fraction bar. 4 is going to stay. And that 3 becomes positive when we move it to the other side of the fraction bar. All right, let's try the next example. a to the negative 5 times a squared. So we are going to add those exponents using our product rule, we keep the base and we add negative 5 plus 2, which is a to the negative 3. Now we have to clean that up and make our exponents positive. That's going to give us 1 over a to the positive 3 is our final answer on that one. All right, the next one, we've got lots of numbers going on here. So 2 to the negative 9 times negative 5 x to the negative 2. So we're going to multiply the 2 times negative 5, which gives us negative 10, x to the negative 9 plus negative 2. That's negative 2. That's going to be negative 10 x to the negative 11. So the only thing that has a negative exponent is x. So it is going to go to the denominator. The exponent becomes positive. The negative 10 stays in the numerator. Remember that exponent rules only apply to exponents. So the negative 10 is a coefficient. It stays where it is. It's happy. All right, let's do the next two examples. x to the 5th divided by x to the 9th is x to the 5 minus 9, which is x to the negative 4. From here, we need to move that x to the denominator, make the exponent positive, 1 over x to the 4th. And our last example, the 2 and the 6 can be simplified to 1 third. x to the negative 4 minus 6, which is going to be 1x to the negative 10 over 3. And then that x has to move to the denominator, right, to change that sign on the exponent to positive. The 3 is going to stay. 
and then we just end up with a one in the numerator. Those are some challenging problems with negative exponents. Good job.